morning, everyone. Welcome back to another 802 Live for September 13, 2022. I'm your host, Ezra Ramos, and today I have an exciting show for you guys. But before we get into that, I have Gabby with some quick announcements. Hey, everyone. Take your pennies and other money to the 4A Center throughout the week for Penny Wars. Ending points will count towards old school games. Today, the high school volleyball teams have games today and Thursday. Today, the freshman, sophomore, JV, and varsity teams play away at Gilbert Classical. And on Thursday, the JV and varsity teams have home games in the Nest versus Mountainside. On Friday, the varsity football team plays away at Many Farms High School. Tomorrow, there will be extended lunch and no Falcon Foundations in order to meet with your class sponsors to discuss old school games. Check the slide for more information. Back to Ezra. Thank you so much for that, Gabby. And today is National Bald is Beautiful Day. So James has made a special package for us, so let's check that out. Peel like a banana. Oh, sorry, I was just peeling like a banana. It's your boy, your favorite senior, James Winburn. And today is a special day because it is National Bald is Beautiful Day. And we have some special people on campus that don't have luscious locks like moss. So let's go check it out. Alrighty, Coach Wilson, do you use any shampoo and or conditioner? I actually do, yes. I use shampoo and conditioner. As far as the head goes though, no. That's gonna be a uh, good old body wash. When you wash your face, where does the face end and the head start? The face ends at the bottom. The head starts at the top, right along this area here. Okay, all righty, all righty. Yes. Okay, first of all, this all is part of the head, but uh, my hairline is here, which you would see if I let my hair grow out, which I don't. Now, is being bald a choice or a lifestyle? It's actually both. Ooh. It's my choice, and it's a lifestyle that's taking on a life of its own. Oh, it's a lifestyle. Once you go bald, the smoothness just draws you in. I got to give it up to uh, the, the greatest bald head I've ever seen personally, Mr. Wilson. Who is your bald influencer? I actually have myself to credit for that. I'd like to think I'm the trendsetter. I established the baldness in America. Did you win luscious locks in high school? Can I preach for a moment? Of course. I absolutely did. Yes, I was voted most luscious locks in the year 1988 at Corona del Sol High School. Yes, yes. you should have seen it. In high school, um, I was the opposite of now. I actually had a massive afro or like full on cornrow braids that came down to like my shoulders. What are the pros and cons of being bald? There's actually only pros. Need I say more? No. Ball. Tons of pros, you know, steam goes off really easily. I get out the pool or something, I can just shake and I'm good to go. Uh, get a nice little pat down if I need to. Alrighty, Mr. Looney, how does it feel to be bald? Let me tell you. B A L D, bald. Back to the dome I had when I crawled. B A L D ball. Back to the dome I had when I crawled. Skin on top with just one drop. A body wash to make that shine pop. Back in the day I had a mop. Won all kinds of comps like Luscious Locks while jamming Luscious Jackson. My dome put me in the MJ faction. Dunk, dunk, battleship sunk. Yo, let me drop this bomb. Bald heads, all pros, no cons. Wicka wicka word. Yeah. That was all our beautiful bald people on campus. And if you see a bald person, tell them what's up. Tell them you love them. Give them a hug. Rub their head for good luck. But that's all I have. I got to split like a banana. Back to you in the studio. Thank you so much, James. But that's all I have for you guys. So make sure you're checking our slides and our social media. Why? Because we're on air, online, and on you.